Go ahead and say your full name. Mark. Mark, my name is Ben. I'm going to be your instructor today. We got you in the Ferrari 450 at Italian. We're doing seven laps today, correct? Yes. Outstanding quick recap on the briefing you already had in the classroom, as well as the on track briefing in the Cayenne. Smooth as fast. What we mean by that is I want to be very smooth on the steering, smooth on the throttle, smooth on the brake. When the steering's turned in, we don't want to mash on the throttle. We get very bad very quick. For the braking, we're braking to shift that weight balance forward. Need to keep the extra weight over the front of the car. As we make our turn, we do that by slowly releasing the brake. If you come out of the brake too quick, too soon, you're going to lighten up the front of the car, so we're going to respond for it very well in turns. The line we follow on the track, green cone to green cone, eyes up, see everything, we'll get nothing. Turn your head, see in the turns before you turn, that'll make you more comfortable with what you're doing sooner because it allows you to see where the car's going, not just where the car's at. The faster you want to go on the track, the further ahead of the car you need to see, especially through the turns because that just slows everything down around you. Gives that extra time to think about what you're going to do in the turns before you actually get there. Mirrors in the car, tune in for me, I watch behind us in the event another car's coming around, I'm going to let you know, initial signals. Come over top just like that. Just gonna come over just like that. My fingers just like that. Okay. Only reason I'm doing that is preventing the cars from getting too close together during the overtake. You're still in full control of the car. Keep driving. Definitely don't let go of the wheel. That's a big one. I need you to keep driving. Just let off the throttle. Let the other car go around. So last but not least, I'm gonna let you go as fast as you want to go. As long as we're smooth, we start making some airs. We just need to throttle back till they go away. Push forward again. So I'm good. Any questions? No. I've heard that a few times already, huh? For the most part. All right, brother, shake and bake, man. Foot on the brake, right hand up, shift. One time, put it in auto. Okay, and boom. You are in automatic first, steering's unwound straight. You're good to go. Go ahead and take us out. Just give it a little bit of throttle, get over the first bumper there. And we'll take it out here by the blue cones. Right up here next to the blue. You can already tell the slower steering. Yeah, it's pretty aggressive steering. Right up here by the blue cone, a little further. And let's stop right here. We got a few cars coming around and then we'll get to it. I'm trying not to throw you out in front of another car. And you are looking good, brother. Go and take us out. Just start building up pace, roll on the throttle. First apex left. Now, 
little bit of throttle, eyes in front of him, a little more throttle on the unwind, turn cone right, light brake, turn it in, a little bit of throttle, nice job, unwind to the right, roll the throttle, there you go, there you go, and brake, and we got him, turn it in, bye Porsche, a little more throttle, unwind, lots of throttle, just like that, turn cone right, light brake, turn throttle brother, smooth, turn the eyes, turn it in. Quite a bit different than the NSX. This is the way One, one. Nice job. Lots of throttle. Far left. Brake. Hard on the brake. Turn the eyes. Start with the brake. Turn it in. Let go. Turn the eyes. The car will follow your eyeballs. Unwind left. Beautiful. Far left. Brake. Turn the eyes. Look where you want to go. Start with the brake. Turn. A little bit of throttle. You're kind of looking at that cone. I can feel it. <laughs> Brake smooth. Turn it in, baby. A little bit of throttle. Remember the unwind. There we go. Brake smooth. Turn the eyes. And turn it in now. A little bit of throttle. Keep looking. Unwind left. A little bit of throttle. Turn cone to the right. Brake turn. Balance. Throttle through. Brake smooth. Turn the eyes. Turn it in. A little bit of throttle. On its own. It's just it's two totally not, different it, machines. It's not a driving car. <laughs> I think that NSX is still a little manufactured more towards a daily driver. You know what I mean? Down here next to the gray one to be now fine. I can see why you want me to shift. Yeah. This, this one? Hard right. Yeah. One of those little hiccups coming over turn four there, yeah, we, we that was because up. of the shift point. The first one, you dropped your eyes and looked in at the paint. Stop right there. Tap both paddles together. Squeeze, let go. Neutral. Let off the brake. Let it roll. Right there we go. Beautiful. Yeah, the first one, the first little nudge, you dropped your eyes just for a double second just to look inside, you know, check out that paint. 
a lot of people do it and when you do the rear is going to step out on you a little bit yeah. the second time i think it was just the shift pattern she just happened to upshift on you right there and then bobbed it but i mean i knew you had it that's why i let you go what you what, what you think we did um lap times i'm feeling i'm i'm horrible at judging time when it comes to this stuff i'd say we're probably a 56 5. okay not bad not bad i mean especially running automatic running manual you're going to get a faster time running manual I, I, it says here i I'm, i just don't think i'm going I'm, it's more I, to think about but in a way a lot of a lot of extra concentration that i don't know if i'm ready for yet you'll never know until you try it yeah and if you're out here if you're a repeat offender out here try it one time because here's the deal when you're shifting okay you don't have to shift as much as you think we really only shift on the straightaway now I, say, I may do the nissan when you get to that i may, may do it today yeah. when you get to that next level okay and i, mean, I, we can and I don't doing, care what my lap time is in it <laughs> that car's a lot of fun i love the yeah. gtr it's fun to drive as long as you're not trying to drive it like an asshole it's a yeah. lot of fun to drive um but it's an easy car to drive like an asshole because it's computerized it'll fix everything for you but it's a heavy car so it'll just pull you out every turn other than that it's a great car to drive but with this thing here when you control the shifting you maintain certain gears that it's going to go into and that the, the biggest thing that was adding work for you is this thing would drop you into second gear coming into some of the turns and that's gnarly for a ferrari they'll they'll they love getting See, loose coming out of a turn in second gear the, the mclaren is so far been the one that i've really enjoyed it's a better car to drive an automatic yes. than a ferrari yeah i i Ferraris and Lamborghinis are the two manufacturers we have that they just do not do as well on a racetrack and automatic. That does better in automatic. The 488s, yeah, that's it's a newer right. car. It's yeah. a more modern car. Yeah. This one here, eh, not so much like that. And you said that's all wheel drive? No, rear wheel. All Ferraris oh. are rear wheel drive. Oh, okay. Someone said, it was some, someone said all wheel on something. I thought he was talking about the 488. No, I just said it a little while ago on the NSX. The NSX is all wheel drive. All wheel drive, yeah, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. This car here, I mean, you know, Ferraris are infamous to throw you into an understeer. You make a tiny little mistake, just a tiny little mistake. It's gonna put you in an understeer. That's just what Ferraris do. They're so light in the front end, but this one here, it's not going to restrict you necessarily. It's gonna let you run through it. You know what I mean? The thin XS put me in an oversteering. Yep, it will, and, and it's I, not gonna fix it for you. No. That's one good thing I like about that car. Because the thing is, I mean, it's one thing if we're making mistakes in the cars, okay? That's okay, it's to be expected. Yeah. And that's what we're here for. We're here to help you yeah, through the that's mistakes. Okay. That, 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 I'm not here to fix them car, for you. I've never driven anything yeah. like it, and that was very strange to me. And, and and as fast as that was, it's it's quick. It's hard to stay ahead of it. Well, just figure it out in that short period of time. Yep. Um, this I may have had a rough first lap, but I got once I got going. First lap wasn't that bad. Um, once I got nice going, and, and then traffic kind of mm -hmm. messed up thing about this one shifting shifting the ferraris and lamborghinis on track the one thing about it is like i said you don't shift as much as you think now with that being said it blows the guy in the gt3 getting past didn't yeah. it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you know <clears throat> along those lines i mean one thing like when you're cruising around the track and you're shifting that, that gt3 is faster than this right better lap time this yeah. is a faster car but that's a better lap time yeah because so. the gt3s are four-wheel steering it's like cheating in the turns. Yeah. No car's gonna hang, hold a candle to that thing. But these things here, when you're shifting, you got seven laps, okay? First lap, two lap, three lap, whatever. Then, we're really only shifting down the straightaway. So then, if you're kicking ass, what I might do is I might add a shift in the back stretch, okay? Add a little downshift, make it a little more gnarlier coming out of the yeah, turn so is, you can get on it a little this quicker. Is, this is the first one that I felt like maybe I should be doing it in, but you had a little um, less work for you, but I, I, after I was over, I, I still it, my mind just it's hard for my mind to right. calculate what I have to do. That's that's I mean it, once you're once you finish the the th thing, your mind still mm -hmm. still processing. Yeah, it's calculating. The thing about the shift, all kinds of weird okay, stuff is, and I, I tell this to a lot of my students that are hesitant on shifting after the first lap or so, maybe the first lap and a half brain doesn't remember it's still yeah. shifting anymore once, you once, got it down. Once, once I got used to going out and swinging mm -hmm. back in over there I didn't really have to remind you about it anymore well you're on it's, it. it's very I, I had all kinds of trouble in NXS I, I kept forgetting to go mm -hmm. I was going and wanting to stay left or mm -hmm. heading towards the left and once I did that and that's what made him mad 
because I kept forgetting I had to make the right before I could go to the left. Hmm. And I... Instructor should never be mad. Well, I don't know if he was... Like I said, he, I can tell was, the he, difference. If you're trying to do it to be an asshole... No, I wasn't. I got I, ways I, of dealing with that. But if you're just yeah, making a mistake no, yeah, over I was and making, over... I was, <laughs> I was like... Because the way that I was seeing it, I couldn't... <clears throat> I didn't see that right as a mm -hmm. turn. And I was going straight to the left. And... And... Uh, you know, that was, it was trouble that he knew about, but mm -hmm. I didn't. And that's where see. I was... Whereas this one... I could see it. Right. I, I could, and you'll feel I it. I had so much trouble seeing it in mm -hmm. the NX, and that's in my vision. It's well, a I don't know. I, well, I don't know what was causing me not to see it. I can. I could easily see it here. I had no trouble seeing it in this. But when I was in that, I couldn't see it. Mm. I don't know why. I, I was going for the left. I didn't. I couldn't see the right. Is that the first car you did with this today? Yeah. That has a lot to do with it too. Yeah. Even I mean, you could say you were here yesterday. Coming back today. It's starting all over. Yeah. So the first few turns, at least minimum, you're kind of getting back into it. I, so the I, second car out, well, you're automatically you're, gonna feel you're, better. It's up and down, yep. so that's makes it hard. But um, and I mean, if I got a student, I, I did it so fast that yeah. I couldn't see yep. it because I was going at it so fast that it mm -hmm. was not there when I came around that turn. I didn't see it. If I got a student that's constantly making the same mistake in the same turns over yeah, and over and over, that's what I was doing. A, what I'm gonna do. Is I'm gonna adapt to you. So A, I'm gonna take that as okay, my delivery's wrong. He's not grasping it. That's how I'm saying it, it so I'm gonna so, change it. Uh, now that I'm coming back, I'm replaying it. Yeah. It came up so fast yep. that it was never in my sight of vision when I got to And then another that, thing I'll do And all I knew was I was going left mm -hmm. and he wanted me to go right and I'm I'm like why am I going why do you want me to go right because I can't see anything over there yeah there wasn't anything for my eyes to see see and I'll make the call sooner ahead of time more normally than I normally would to give you a yeah. little more opportunity to okay crap yeah once we get ahead it, of it once we once we went through it for the first time we were able to adjust mm -hmm. and and I was way into it after that yeah but that it was each time I, you come I, back I mean just understand every it's gonna time, take warming up yeah. to over and over well, no it was that car and think so yeah I, I could be, I haven't been in everything, but you know, if I get back in it, I'm gonna probably yeah, have the same, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have the same problem I bet again, because it's just, I don't 